Hello, I'm on the east coast of Phuket now and just down from Alpo Marina. And that's because the marina itself is playing host to Phuket's first boat show. Now, if you remember, we uh, attended the Southampton Boat Show last year, so I'm interested to see uh, how different a Thai boat show is to a British boat show. So I've managed to blag myself a pass. I'm gonna jump in the dinghy and head up the coast and go and find out what's going on. The Thailand Yacht Show is a new venture from the people behind the Singapore Yacht Show and was put on in partnership with the Thai government. Whereas the Singapore Yacht Show has a more commercial slant, the Thailand Yacht Show is aimed at both industry and end consumers. The show is predominantly targeted at the super yacht charter market, so there were few sailing boats on display, but it was a well organised event with plenty to see and do. Now here's an old face we haven't seen for a long while. It's that old salty sea dog, Tony. It's about time, Jamie. How's it going? I'm all right, mate. Absolutely <laughs> fabulous to see you. Jump on board. I will do, Have right, you. yeah. Welcome to the Thailand Yacht Show held at Alpo Marina. Uh, we're in the one and only marquee, which is pretty small, but uh, I better hurry up because I think there's a live band about to start playing. In the meantime, we're gonna go and have a look around and then go down to the pontoon and see what's occurring. The exhibitor's marquee offered the kinds of goods and services one would expect from such an event, including a chandlery, upholstery stands, representatives from the paint industry, as well as aspirational resorts and spas. I bumped into May, who recently came sailing on Esper, who has been considering a career change from her teaching profession. She was recommended approaching the Galileo Maritime Academy, where she chatted to Sana about crewing on super yachts. So I'm with Sana of uh, Galileo um, Maritime Academy, and with my sous chef, who everyone knows, May, You'll have seen her in a recent uh, Follow the Boat episode. Um, first of all, Sana, can you tell us a bit about Galileo uh, Academy, um, what it's all about, and why you're here at the, um, at the boat show? Okay. Well, first is number one Thailand Yacht Show, first ever Thailand Yacht Show, right? So we want to be in full support um, with um, the show. Um, we, it's a great opportunity to network. Um, as well, and we came and we support the um, Thailand Yacht Show with ambassadors. Um, so we have ex-students who are here to help out at the show as well. And it gives us this opportunity to give um, stu um, interested candidates scholarships and some free classes to try out um, so that they can start a new career. And so what what career could that be then? <laughs> um, we specialize in training super yacht crew. Um, we also do cruise ships, merchant ships, and gas and oil rigs um, crew training. Um, but mainly we specialize in super yacht new entry level crew training. Mm -hmm. um, they will do nine and a half days service training and five and a half days basic safety training, which is called STCW. And we are the only academy in Asia that's directly accredited by MCA. Okay, right, <laughs> so May, Sue Chef. <laughs> in, in case you haven't seen it, uh, May came out sailing on Esper and mm -hmm. uh, she found herself in the galley. 
I actually graduated in hospitality management in a hotel and I learned a lot about doing things in the hotel, housekeeping, cooking, um, receptionist, um, yeah, front office, everything in hotel. And if I need to do more, because it's, I think it's a high level, I'm willing to do. I'm more willing to do everything to, you know, to learn more about this. Well, surely that's exactly the sort of person you want working on a super yacht. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was telling Mays earlier that um, we love people from hotel industry and we love people from airlines because they can do many things, they can multitask. Mm. And mm. you just have to change your attitude and mentality and practice, a lot of practice, so that you perfect your skills and you can work on a yacht. Well, earning lots of money, traveling the world. Yeah, that's it, yeah. traveling the world. And so, that's okay, what I want. <laughs> May, when, when you get that job, can you invite me on board? Of course! <laughs> <laughs> How can I not invite you? <laughs> well, May and Sana, thank you very much. I hope the rest of the boat show goes well for you. Thank you very uh, much. It's a blast thing. Very exciting. Yeah. And May, hope to see you on the high seas. Thank you for having us. I'm here just outside the Exhibitors Marquee uh, with Matthew of uh, Port to Cola. Yeah, thank you for having Welcome, me. Welcome, Matthew. Yeah. Uh, very nice of you to uh, take five minutes out of your busy schedule and have a chat with us. Um, just uh, tell us, first of all, uh, what is Port to Cola? Uh, Port to Cola is a new yacht in Kirby. We have been uh, developing uh, five years uh, continu continuously now. Now we are working to open uh, phase one with 50 buildings on the water and uh, 50 buildings on hard stands um, and uh, you know, the, for lifting and hall facilities. Um, the marina is very much planned to provide a kind of boutique marina kind of experience. Uh, we want to implement, uh, you know, so first of all, to have the marina blend in with, uh, with the natural environment of the estate that we have now. And secondly, is to combine the international facility with the Thai hospitality aspect of, uh, let's say, the hotel industry and to bring it forward to, to the marinas industry. So, um, I mean, what's interesting is that we're seeing more and more marinas being developed in this area. What, what do you think the, the sailing, cruising uh, landscape is like for the next five, ten years in Thailand? I think if we have a consistency in terms of regulation, I think uh, we will, I think the cruising will continue to increase. Um, first of all, there's a lot more interest um, coming into this region, you know, because Thailand, you know, it's one of the, at the moment, it's one of the world's best uh, maritime, uh, you know, tourists in the world. And uh, now, the, actually, the regulations and uh, it has become more friendlier for cruisers to come. And yeah, so the future looks good. And yeah, so I think that it will be a good, it will be a very good destination for any cruisers and yacht owners to come, even, you know, for any yacht owner who want to base their yacht here as well. Yeah, and finally, uh, we're here at the uh, the boat show. What does mm -hmm. the boat show mean specifically to you and your your uh, marina? Well, the boat show is a very good platform for us to first of all come and uh, come and to promote our marinas. But what is more important for us is really to come and uh, discuss to you know the boat owners, you know, and to meet them in person, so that they can first of all they can get to know you know, who we are because mm -hmm. sometimes when you work in emails. They, they don't quite understand you know, who you are and what you're trying to do. So this is a perfect platform for you to come and meet and uh, explain some of what you're trying to achieve and you know, it's become more personalized as well. And uh, I think secondly, it's a very good promotion for Thailand because, uh, mm -hmm. and for Phuket and for Krabi as well mm -hmm. because uh, you know, the, as, as we grow as an industry, I think uh, there will be more interest into coming to Thailand. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, well, look, I hope uh, the rest of the day goes well for you. Well, and thank you. Uh, thank you very much for uh, having a chat with us. And, no, thank you. Uh, hey, I hope to, to come into your marina one day with Espa. Yeah, I would like to. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. All right. Cheers, Matthew. Thank you.
One of the things I'm fascinated by is flyboarding, and the yacht show played host to Thailand's flyboarding champion who put on hourly displays of his skills, which I caught in slow mo. Well, that's pretty much it from this boat show, the first Thailand boat show at Alpo Marina. Uh, it's been a real eye-opener. I'm on the main jetty here, and most of the boats are motorboats. There's a couple of catamarans, uh, but uh, a boat show wouldn't be complete without a super yacht. And I'm next to the biggest super yacht in the marina. I've got to go and have a look inside, haven't I? Come on, let's go and see what's afoot. I was shown around 73 meter Titania by deckhand Sam, who has been part of the crew for 18 months. So this is the main deck foyer, we have a lift as well. From that tank deck up to deck, which is five levels. This is the master bedroom. This office. Awards. This this one here is for the renaming ceremony. Before Titania, it was called a Poise. Where was she built? She was built in Germany by Lursen mm -hmm. um, in 2006. 
Sam explains that Titania was relaunched in 2012 after a refit. After showing me through the master cabin, Sam takes me to the massage room. The boss apparently loves a massage and converted what was the cinema into a massage parlour. One of two massage parlours, I should add. The master bedroom is one of seven cabins and can sleep up to 12 people. There are 22 crew on board. It's ironic to think that our sailboat Esper is supposed to sleep up to eight people. Panelling is oak and what looks like walnut and the floors are solid marble. Sam takes me upstairs to the bridge deck saloon and dining area. The furniture is secured for rough seas, of course. second master. The second master bedroom boasts one of the best panoramic views aboard Titania. The rear deck includes a swimming pool, of course, and no super yacht would be complete without a gym and a full-time personal trainer. Well, this is a rather splendid view, isn't it? This is a good view. We've got a lot of guests up here on, uh, when, we're just, when we're cruising between anchorages. The final place to visit is the bridge. So this is the uh, bridge. We normally cruise at around 13 knots, 12 to 14 knots. Do you know what your fuel consumption is at, at that rate? Uh, I think it's roughly around 400 litres an hour. <laughs> 400. Wow. I think I'm three. If you're interested in chartering Titania, you may do so through Burgess Yachts. And although she's not listed for sale, the owner may be interested in selling her. Yours for a cool 60 million. And so as the visitors return home in the sunset, uh, that's the end of the Thailand Yacht Show. The first one. Uh, I have to say it was pretty well organised and it was entertaining too. Uh, as I said earlier, the emphasis was on Super Yacht Charter and from my own personal perspective, I think they possibly missed a trick there. There are many hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, sailing liverboards and uh, sailing charters out here in these uh, waters. 
And I think it would be nice if the boat show concentrated a bit more on that. And certainly in the, um, in the marquee, where you had the people uh, selling their wares, various chandleries and other services to yachtsmen. Um, back in the UK, of course, we're used to huge marquees and uh, more importantly, as every yachtsman and woman likes, uh, discounts on products to entice and encourage them to visit the boat show. So I think that's one area of improvement that uh, maybe they could look at for the next show. But overall, considering this was Thailand's first yacht show, I have to say it was very well done and I look forward to the next one next year. <laughs> Thank you.